Right, this is only a partial video um, just to show the sat nav part of this route because it's going to take me into co winning and once we get into co winning um, quite often the routes overlap each other so you'll be able to see a full co winning route on one of my other videos. Um, so this is just an alternative way to get there um, using the sat nav part of the, the drive. Um, but remember they might not always use a the sat nav, they might ask you to follow directions or um, road signs. So, but I'm gonna, I've got the sat nav set up for this one, so um, we're going to follow the sat nav on this. Enter roundabout, then take first exit. So into first gear, finding the bite, check my left, interior and right door mirrors. Right round over my right shoulder, no traffic following, no traffic oncoming. Cyclist is already in my blind spot, so no signals required. Taking the first exit at the roundabout. So internal mirror, left door mirror, signal left. Slightly uphill to this roundabout. Try and keep the weight of the car going, but make sure you do look very carefully to your right. It's a very close junction, and traffic that comes from the right sometimes comes at quite a good pace. So once you've committed yourself to going, make sure you've got on the gas and you can accelerate yourself out of trouble should the circumstances change immediately after making a decision. I'm going to go straight ahead at this roundabout. It's a second exit. So left hand lane on approach. No signal just yet. Past the first exit, now signal left. Enter roundabout, then take first exit. Entering the next roundabout, so this is a double roundabout, one immediately after the other. Taking the first exit again, so this time I can signal left on approach, making sure it's safe. Reapplying my signal to confirm my intention because it cancelled itself. And then at this point, I'm going to be taking the second exit off to the right on this roundabout, so internal mirror. Right door mirror, signal to the right. Enter roundabout, then take second exit. I'm going to slow right down here because that learner driver is braking quite early. I think they might want into this this lane. Yeah, their signal's now on, so I'm going to allow them to come across. It's very open to my right, so I can clear. I can see it's clear to make progress behind the learner. But I'm not accelerating too hard. Unsure to tell how many hours experience that learner has in front. So internal mirror, left door mirror, signal left. It could be their first lesson, it could be their lesson before their test. Um, it's a bit difficult to tell how experienced or inexperienced they may be. Into a 50 limit. It's now safe to move over to the left, left lane on legal. So I've got to check my mirrors to make sure it's safe. the roundabout ahead I'm taking the second exit straight ahead. Speed limit is 50 miles an hour. I'm happy at the 40, I'm not going to try and overtake the learner. And we're only 300 yards from the roundabout anyway so I'm going to just maintain my speed and position behind the learner driver because I'm already in the lane that I wish to take for going straight ahead. No point in trying to overtake and then nip back in front of the learner. So confirmation, taking the second exit, there's an exit off to the left, so I'm not going to signal left on approach even though I'm in the left hand lane. Good couple of checks to my right, make sure it's safe, staying on the left hand lane, mirrors the signal to the left, and now exiting the roundabout. And this time I'm going to make some progress and build my speed up to 50 miles an hour. And I'm going to overtake the learner this time. Actually, I'm not going to overtake the learner. I'm going to, I'm going to let them continue their, their move into the right-hand lane. Because they had indicated. And that's fine. Sometimes we have to change decisions that we had made. Taking the fourth exit. You can, you can treat this one as being straight ahead. Um, even though it's between 12 and 1 o'clock um, but you can just as easily treat it as being slightly off to the right. 
So I'm going to treat it as being off to the right on this occasion because I had planned to pass the, the learner driver and get back into the left hand side of the road but it then wasn't safe to get back into the left hand side of the road. So I've passed the second exit, I'm now passing the third exit. So internal mirror, left door mirror, signal left, I'm going to move across after this van. Interestingly enough, the black Peugeot that was in front of me was in the left hand lane in approach to the roundabout. You can rewind this and rewatch it if you want. They were in the left hand lane and approached the roundabout but as they emerged onto the roundabout they immediately moved into the right hand lane to overtake the van but they didn't really get much further up the road did they because they had to try and squeeze themselves back in in front of the van and behind the learner arriving at destination so not much forward planning from the driver of the black Peugeot if you ask me drive 0.3 miles then enter roundabout but that's just my opinion and we're all entitled to them. So we're on a 40 limit, we came from a 50 into a 40. We've got a traffic calming measure here just asking us to shimmy to the left and slightly back to the right again. I can do that fairly safely at 35 miles an hour or 32 miles an hour. And at the roundabout we're going to take the second exit for co-winning. Checking my mirror and braking now. Second exit. stay in the left hand lane, all the traffic in front has moved into the right hand lane so I'm going to check to my right through the traffic, there's traffic coming so not safe to proceed but now it's safe to proceed so I'm going to make progress now past the first exit, internal mirror, signal left after the left hand mirror check as well and up through the gears into a 50 limit over the 40 now. Five, one point four miles, then enter roundabout. And the road sweeps to the left. Now ahead there's a new roundabout, it's not on my sat nav, so my sat nav isn't going to say where to where to go at the roundabout, but I'm going to take the second exit straight ahead. Being aware of the cyclist on the road, so checking my mirrors, braking, make sure there's enough space to overtake. Make sure the cyclist is aware that I was overtaking as well. He had a, he had a quick lifesaver check there because he could hear the traffic building up behind him. Going straight ahead at the roundabout and two mirror signal left. BMW behind me is quite close. I don't think he realised how much space he needed to get past the biker and how much space I needed. So from the point of braking for the cyclist. He got really close, and he was really close behind me coming in, coming in and out of that roundabout there as well. Now I'm at 60 miles an hour already, and he's flying past me as if I'm standing still. So clearly he's in a hurry, and that's fine by me if he gets away in the distance in front of me, um, because if he's going to drive at speed, then I don't want someone who is flouting the rules, if you like, be immediately in front of me or immediately behind me for any longer than necessary. So, let them get away. Let them get away and out your road and minimise any road rage and things like that. I'm going to take the third exit of the roundabout, so internal mirror, signal right, after checking my right door mirror. And after I clear this roundabout, that will be the end um, of this short video um, because that will take me onto one of the roads that I've been on earlier um, as it takes me to Wasco Winning so just another junction after this one and then I'll stop the video so that's the second exit there checking my internal mirror, left door mirror, signal left moving across nice and early making my intentions clear Sharp bend coming off this roundabout, so no acceleration required. Traffic lights ahead are at red, and um, we're going to turn right at those traffic lights. So I'm not accelerating up to the queue, just letting the weight of the car roll. The lights are now changing. Internal mirror, signal right. 
checking my mirror to the right again and position myself to the right, but not too far to the right. Notice the markings in the road. So on approach, you would anticipate moving to the right hand side for a right hand turn. But as I got closer to the junction, you could see there was hatched markings. So I wasn't allowed to move into the right hand lane as much as you maybe were previously. Or as maybe as you would on another junction. So that's taking us onto the road now into co winning. And as I said at the top of the video, this will just be short because once you're on this road, the chances are they'll take you up into the scheme, which I've done another, on another video, um, or you'll see in another video, and the test route could be very similar from there. Um, the end of it may change, of course, so I will do a, another short video to show you what the end of this route might look like. There's an oncoming car and I'm gonna he's, he's actually flashed me so I am just double check that it's safe to make progress. I am safe to make progress, so didn't need to pull in as much as I thought. And they're obviously parking up at this point. So wave of thanks for the driver. At the end of this road I'm going to turn left. Straight into first gear, couldn't see to the right through the fencing as, as much as I'd like. It's now safe to make progress. Certainly out of the junction, and now double checking it's safe to make progress past the parked cars as well. There's an oncoming vehicle, so not accelerating too much. I'm going to use this space on my left hand side just to keep the car at its current speed. Look up the inside view of the vehicles, I can see there's another white van coming as well. So he's given me a flash of the lights from a distance, so just double check again if it's safe to make progress. So not relying on the signal, but not ignoring them either. Not missing my opportunity to make progress. So wave of thanks to the driver. As I come round this left hand bend, I know this area fairly well and there's usually always parked cars on the left hand side. So there's the first one. So check my mirror, slowing down, looking over the roofs of the cars as much as I can to see if there was any pedestrians or other vehicles coming along the road. Because parked cars on the inside of a, vent, of a bend are always very difficult to negotiate. So another stop line here. I'm going to turn right at this stop line. Um, looking to my left, I can't see through the fencing again as much as I would like. That's probably one of the reasons why there's a stop line there. But again, even if you could see that it was clear to go, you must still stop. Now there's a heavy goods vehicle wanting to turn in, and so he's allowed me to pull out first. Make it, they make the cornering easier for him. He certainly had enough time and space to get round about me, but he was being nice and letting me out. So again, not missing my opportunity to progress. Check my mirrors as I move off at the traffic lights. Back up through the gears, round the blind bend to the left, couldn't see through the wall. I can now see up through the hill, a couple of pedestrians waiting to cross the road. Young enough to get across there quite quickly, that's fine by me. Still accelerating up the hill, I can see the traffic lights were green, they were reflecting off the side of the bus. So I'm now checking to see if there's any pedestrians waiting to cross and there aren't any, so I don't expect the lights to change. Coming round the bend, I can see another set of lights and some queuing traffic. Crisscross markings on the road, so slowing it down, I could now get space on the other side to progress through them. Be aware of those yellow crisscross markings called a box junction. Especially when they're quite faded. Sometimes you don't see them until you're on top of them. Of course, not much you can do about it by then. At the traffic lights ahead, I'm going to turn right, just like the car in front. So, internal mirror, right door mirror, signal right, position myself to the right. As I straighten up, check my mirrors again, 
traffic lights ahead are green, we've got a cyclist on the left hand side, he's on the pavement though, although he might try and cross the lights. He's certainly looking over his shoulder as if he's going to cross. He hasn't crossed, he's came onto the road though. The lights changed just as I made my progress through them, so I was past my point of no return. Cyclist has now turned left, so I can make my progress round the bend. And the road goes slightly uphill and round to the left. As I follow around, I can see now traffic lights, they're green at the moment. Again, checking my mirrors. I'm good to stop, good to stop. I'm now past my point of the return of the change, so I've committed myself and I'm making progress. Petrol station on the right hand side. Be aware of petrol stations when you pass. Obviously, a lot of traffic in and out of them all day long. Car in front is braking. He did have an indicator on to the left, which is now cancelled, so he's parking up. And it's safe for me to overtake. I'm just making sure, I've just checked the driver in his mirror that he was looking at me in his mirror so that I knew he wasn't going to just throw open his door without checking. Right, further up on the bend, we've got a parked vehicle on the bend. I can pass the first one certainly without touching the centre line, but I'm keeping it nice and slow because I don't know what's going to come round the bend towards me. It could be a larger vehicle that's taking up the full width of their side of the road. I'm now touching the white lines as I pass these later cars, but it's certainly space for me to do so. Not stopping unless I need to. Making progress where possible, but not to the, at the expense of other drivers, so not forcing them to slow down or change their position as they approach me. Bringing my speed in check again. I think I maybe got to 31 miles an hour again there. Approaching the red lights, checked my mirrors already. The following traffic that was there is on my right hand side, they're turning right. So they were always moving to my right hand side. Following the road ahead, I'm going to be going straight ahead at the mini roundabout. So at this point, I'm going to check my right door mirror as I move to the right hand side. I wanted to make sure that any traffic that is in my right hand side is slowing down to make that turn to the right and not following through on the right hand lane of the traffic lights. As we leave co winning speed limit changes to 40 miles per hour. Approaching the co winning fire station between co winning and Stevenson. And the rest of this route is the most direct route you can take back to the test centre from here. It's straight down the dual carriageway, all the way to the commander turn off, and then a couple of junctions later, you're outside the test centre. So I'm going to stop the video at this point because I'm not driving down the dual carriageway to complete this route.